manufacturing from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 introduces a complete new architecture, which we're going to present in this presentation. The Kanban rules are key entities in this implementation. Kanban rules can be understood as supply policies. Kanban rules relate to a product selection that can be an item, an item allocation key, or can be valid for all products for a specific location. The definition of Kanban rules is done in the form that you find on the production control, setup, lean manufacturing, Kanban rules. When creating a new Kanban rule, you can select the pro a specific product selection that can be product, family or all. Depending on that selection, a specific item, an item allocation key or no further information has to be given. The Kanban rule is related to one or multiple activities through a Kanban flow. The activities are defined in relation to a production flow. There are two types of activities. A process activity that is allocated to a work cell. And a transfer activity that is allocated to a from and a to location. Locations can be drilled down into site, warehouse and WMS location. When creating a new Kanban rule, you have to select the first and last activity. Start with selecting the first activity of the Kanban rule. If you want the Kanban to, to work on multiple activities, activate the multiple activity and select the last plan activity from the drop down. Once you select it, the last activity, the selection of Kanban flows pops up and allows you to select one of the possible Kanban flows. If the Kanban flow is not yet generated, generate the flow with the generate button. You can look up the existing Kanban flow with the view Kanban flow. However, this is only possible for multi-activity Kanbans. Single activity Kanbans have an underlying Kanban flow that points to a single activity. The creation and maintenance of activities is done in the production flows. You can open the administration of production flows under production control, set up lean manufacturing production flows. Create a new production flow by giving a name, a description, selecting a value stream as the operating unit to work in, and the production group that represents the accounts. After saving the production flow, you can create a version. Within the production flow version, you can now create activities. To create new production flow activities, you use the create new activity plan widget. First, you give a new name to the activity. Then you select which type of activity you want to create, process or transfer. For process activity, you have to select a work cell. 
which is implemented as a resource group in ACE 2012. You have to define or confirm the pre-created definition of the picking activity and finally define an activity runtime. To create a transfer activity, use the same wizard. Again, select a name. Choose the activity type transfer. Now select a from warehouse and WS location. and a tool warehouse. Select the runtime which is equal to the net transport time. And finish the wizard. After this short introduction of the production flow, the activities, the activity type, process and transfer, let us focus back on the architecture of the Kanban rule. A Kanban rule can be associated to a Kanban card. A Kanban card represents a Kanban as a physical document. Kanban cards can be of two different types. They can be single usage cards. A single usage card is only printed once for a single Kanban and then gets, is lost in the process. A circulating card is reused for each iteration of a Kanban. To define the behavior of cards within a Kanban rule, open the Kanban and Cards Fast tab within the Kanban rules form. The flag circulating cards defines whether a Kanban rule uses circulating cards or not. If circulating cards are assigned, you can create cards separately from Kanbans and view the cards as well as the allocation of cards to Kanban with the circulating cards form. You can also change the allocation manually. For single usage cards, you cannot manually create or view cards, as the card gets created whenever a Kanban is created automatically. Let us now introduce the concept of Kanban and Kanban jobs. Once you have defined a Kanban rule, you can create Kanbans based on this Kanban rule. When a Kanban gets created, depending on the allocation settings of the Kanban cards, a single usage Kanban is automatically created or the Kanban can get automatically allocated to a circulating card. Depending on the activities of the Kanban flow of a Kanban rule, on the creation of a Kanban, the Kanban jobs are created. There is one job created for each activity in the Kanban flow. Same as the activities, jobs can be of type process or transfer. The directory relates to, to the default settings of the activities of type process and transfer. Scheduled Kanbans can be created directly in the Kanban rule form with the Add button on the Kanban Fast tab. Select the number of Kanbans you want to create. Set a product quantity and select a date. Dependent on the product selection, you can now select an item number or have to accept the pre-selected item number of the Kanban rule. You can still select a different BOM than the actual BOM version.
The created Kanbans can be displayed in the Kanban details form. You can see the jobs in the job fast tab of the Kanban details form. For this Kanban rules, we have two activities in the, in the Kanban flow. So there are two jobs created for a single Kanban, a process and a transfer. Demand and production structures change over time. This is why the production flow is organized in data effective versions. There can be multiple versions at the same point in time. However, there can only be one active version at one point in time. When you plan to create a new production flow version, for an existing production flow, you may start with setting the expiry date of the active version to a date where you plan to start the new version. You can do that in the details form. When updating this version, the Kanban rules associated to this production flow will automatically be updated to this expiry date. Now I can create a new version. The new version is automatically defaulted to the end of the previous version, of the previous active version. You can select to copy the version which will effectively copy all activities of the existing version. You can also select to duplicate Kanban rules to make replacing rules for the, for the new version. Now you have created a new version and you can start to model the new version without affecting the active production flow. As the production flow version, a Kanban rule is data effective for a period in time. Each Kanban rule can have a single replacement rule that replaces it after its validity period. Replacing rules can either be created when you create a new version, but they can also be created within versions. Using the Kanban quantity calculation module actually creates new replacement rules with new, with new quantity parameters of a Kanban rule for a specific point in time.